So an update from WZJL. I have a hat on now to protect my bald spot. And um, they found moisture up at the top of the antenna, but not in the line. And this is Kenny uh, from ARD, a tower climber. He's going to explain what they found up there. Well, we found um, uh, a pressure release valve um, leaking water into the top of the antenna and it seems to have isolated itself to the top of the antenna and I have no explanation for that because it's a hollow system, uh, basically hollow with an inner bay line and, and nothing to stop water from migrating down in, into the uh, lower elements of the antenna and the coax itself. And why would that matter if water was in the coax? Uh, it would uh, it would absolutely uh, terminate uh, the, the the power going into the antenna with the it ruin it. The VSWR <laughs> would uh, increase and it would shut the transmitter down. So if the water was down in the coax, would have to replace the coax. Absolutely. And the, I have no explanation for why there's not water at the coax. It didn't flow down. Didn't didn't flow down. <laughs> oh, well. it, it stopped in. Um, uh, contained itself so far to the top element. There may be some residual moisture down lower, but nothing made it to the coax itself, which is- um, As far as we can tell. Was outside of yeah. anything I've ever seen before in 37 years of dealing with <laughs> antennas and coax and FM and TV and anything right. anything that applies. Well, it, we praise the Lord for that. Another absolutely. miracle story at WZJL. Absolutely.